Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's sport video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's sport video. Day 10 will take us to the 20th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe we'll around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that will get us into the first half of July. I should get over that for you. In a moment, just say that the first of video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've also released weekend forecast and a 42 day forecast as well. Busy old deck, gas weather today. Please like, share, subscribe on all of today's bids. Thank you so much, Jim. Matt. There may be a Glasto update coming up this evening. Um, it just depends what time I have to get that done, but I might try and get one done uh, this evening. Did the first Glasto update last night. Oh, by the way. The uh, first class update got us to 16k subscribers. So hello to all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, getting us uh, up to 16k. Beyond 16k, we're actually around 16,050 now, I think. So we put on a lot of subs yesterday. Thank you so much to um, all of our uh, all, all of our subscribers, and especially to our new subscribers. Thanks, thanks, thanks so much, everyone. We'll celebrate for now, too. We'll start pushed on to 17k. Um, anyway, let's... Let's crack on. Thanks so much, everyone. Right, let's crack on. Let's start off with centering temperature. The CT is now sitting at 3.5. It's coming up very quickly now. with just 0.5 of a degree below the 61 night on the average at provisional to yesterday to the 9th of June. That will carry on rising over the uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, over the next few days. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if in a round of weeks time that's into the 15s. So, uh, swing from one extreme to another. These are the GFS up red temperature and precipitation ensembles in a couple of weeks. London, again today, red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off very substantially above average at the moment. Really warm upper air temperatures and surface temperatures. Hottest day of the year is uh, is developing today. Temperatures widely into the uh, low 30s Celsius. We will see those upper air temperatures coming down. Uh, a little bit around the middle part of uh, next week. So, just say very warm, but temperatures will reduce a bit. And uh, they're probably rising again, actually, into next weekend. Overall, looks solidly above average from start to finish, really. There's no sign of anything particularly cool coming up. Precipitation-wise, so we could have some heavy showers and thundery downpours over this weekend. There'll be lots of dry weather through most of next week. Still seeing this slight trend towards something more unsettled into the final week or 10 days of June. Again, it's extended range. It's a long way off. So, therefore, send me a reliable time frame of GFS and its ensemble. But it is a bit of a signal there. Turn rather more unsettled into the second, uh, not second half, into the uh, final week, 10 days of the month. Temperature anomalies from the 18th of June, very significantly warmer than average, not just the UK and I, but through most parts of Northern Europe as well. And precipitation anomalies from the 10th to the 18th of June, cooler than, uh, drier than average, I should say. Again, across much of northern Europe, driving average in the east, just near it on to a little bit west in west. That down to be in the thunderstorms, I think. I would expect these uh, anomaly charts start trending drier again, actually, over the next few days. Latest wind from that from Earth, northschool.net, shows that wind is still coming in from the east, but it's starting to turn more south of east with the uh, wind flow and direction now. So we're starting to lose those cooler, sort of northern, fresh north northeasters that have brought all of the cloud in, but kept the temperatures, um, you know, uh, quite fresh. We're losing uh, those uh, winds, and we're turning wind more towards the southeasterly off the hot continent. So that's the reason the temperatures are lifting up today. Wow, wow, wow. Right, OK. Let's start going for chart data. Then. So, ladies, you can make your run. Looking at big guy on uh, Tuesday. High pressure dominating the weather. Let's see if there's any change through next week. There is not. So, high pressure remains dominant right way up to next weekend. Sat over top of the country. No, the weather will remain mostly dry and sunny and also very warm. Possibly locally hot throughout next weekend and throughout next week and up to next weekend. I can't, again, with the high pressure well and truly in the ascendancy 
through next week there's no change up to midday saturday high pressure sat over top of the country keeping things mostly dry fine and very warm or locally hot again the gfs midnight run looking like this once more the high pressure strengthens through the second half of next week brings lots of dry weather with it as we get towards day 10 we just start seeing the high pressure weakening and lower pressure trying to come in from off the Atlantic and bring something a little bit more showery and cooler in from the ocean but it doesn't actually come to anything and the high pressure just rebuffs that attempt at low, at low pressure and re again uh, through the country so it turns mostly dry very warm again with this area of high pressure probably hot actually as we go into the uh, glass so period, about 24th of June, glass so Saturday, see how that high pressure is in control. Uh, all the way up to the end of the GFS midnight run, really, the high pressure is dominant. That's the midnight Sunday, 26th of June. Although by then, this area of low pressure is thundery low, trying to push it from the south. Look how hot the upper air temperatures are looking uh, as we get as we get to the end of the GFS midnight run. Signs of some very hot air beginning to gather uh, over the continent to our cell. Um, so <laughs> it's a case of here we go again. Keep an eye on that. GFS 6Z again with that high pressure strengthening as we go through next week. So we start off with those heavy showers and bungee downpours. They'll fade out by Tuesday. Most places will be dry as we go into um, the second half of next week. Up to day 10, day 9, 10, low pressure in the Atlantic just starting to ease its way in from off the Atlantic Ocean, bring something a little bit more showery into western, southwestern parts of the country. And unlike the midnight run, the 6 it actually turns things unsettled through the final uh, frames. So that is to Thursday, 22nd of June, with an area of low pressure meandering in from off the Atlantic, bringing showers, long as well as rain, and much cooler temperatures as well. Winds are coming in from the northwest of that, so completely different uh, from the 6 then to midnight run, telling us there is a lot of uncertainty about this uh, uh, last week or so of uh, June. That's as well as we get to with the 6th Z to Monday 26th of June, bring to cooler, showery, northwesterly winds at that point. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's say what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about gals, love it. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We have just hit 16,000 subscribers. Goodness gracious me, what a milestone. Thank you so much, everyone, for getting us to 16K. Okay, GM, again, with uh, high pressure in the ascendancy in most of next week and into next weekend as well. We're high and dry all the way up to around day 8. Day 9, 10 start to bring a thundery low up from the south, so we'll be very warm and humid with that, but turns more thundery um, with this area of low pressure to ourselves. And southwest, and then the ECM is all much of a muchness with high pressure rooted and anchored across northern Western Europe and into North Atlantic as well. No sign of any thundery lows, it's just very warm and or hot with high pressure domination all the way up to day 10. There, this is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tremetro.com. Cooked some heavy showers and thunderstorms across central western regions this evening. And a few more coming up tomorrow, uh, perhaps on into Monday. Yes, there could be further showers and storms around them. But by Tuesday, the showers and storms are fading out as a high pressure really strengthens. So most of next week is dry under the area of high pressure. Just a few downpours returning to the north, perhaps later on. But basically, high pressure kills off any storms from around Tuesday all the way up to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. For the United States, Met obviously gets us to the 20th of June, 20 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure right over top of coach pressure drive by and very warm 17 with high pressure a little bit further northwards allowing this low from the southwest to hang to the fungi breakdown so the western regions and 14 including the operation run with high pressure centered over slightly to the west of the coach pressure drive very warm with that one in two week time these are the options that we've got this gets us to the 25th of june 29 members of the ecm ensemble still with high pressure in control to the north, need some lower pressure, not low pressure, but lower pressure to our south and southwest. That could bring something a little bit more showery into the south and the west in particular. 17 mo with high pressure right over top of the country, and then 5 with high pressure over France, lower pressure towards Iceland, trying to revert us back to an Atlantic flow. 
Looks like high pressure is dominating right the way toward the final stages of the month to me, but we shall see. CFS beats you finally, leaving the 500 millibar height and lines broken down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 10th to 16th of June. The coming week has high pressure sat over top of the coach, mostly dry, fine, hot at times as well. Week two is going to be the 17th to the 23rd of June. High pressure just easing a little bit further northwards, allowing lower pressure to push up. From the south, that might bring some showery conditions into our southern and western regions. Week three <laughs> is going to be the 24th to the 30th of June. High pressure just over to western country, lower pressure in the Atlantic. Winds coming up from the south. That should be very warm and mainly dry, especially so for southern and eastern regions. Man, look at this week four, could be a heat wave. It's the first to the 7th of July. With high pressure centred over and just to the east of the country. And again, we're pulling up those winds from a southerly south east direction. Very warm and or hot, I would have thought. With that, wow, wow, wow. We'll see. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thanks you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about guys well this. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Now, there may be a Glastow update coming up for you this evening. I'll just see what time I've got if I can squeeze one in. If not, I'll get one done tomorrow. And uh, just to tell you, he's coming up tomorrow. So, uh, we're going to start off with the 6 UK weather forecast. We're going to have the second autumn update. And there'll be a 10 to 14 there too. So, please keep checking back to the channel for all of our content. Make sure you ding the bell as well, and then you'll be notified when we're releasing content, live streaming, etc, etc, etc. Um, but that's it for uh, this one. Uh, we may be back later on with a second glass, so update, we'll see. But for this 10 to 14 day, anyway, that's all for now. And thanks so much.